Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. Please excuse my appearance. I've been working outside for a big part of the day. Um, I may chat at you guys about that after the video, just to just to warn you. If you don't want to hear the chatting, then you can just cut it off and be done with it. I didn't bring my my little wedgie tool out, but here, let's try this thing. Okay. And they say you push back here, and it kind of lifts up that end, and then you can get a finger out of it. There we go. It worked that time. All right. So, Lipton Hard Iced Tea, peach flavored. It's 5% ABV. This is a probably 24, 24 fluid ounce. Where is it? 1 pint 8 fluid ounce or 1 pint 8 fluid ounce malt beverage with natural flavors <clears throat> it looks like tea <clears throat> fit really nicely in my mug. There's a little bit of a of a tea foam on the top. Can you can see it from there. There's a little tea foam. <laughs> Just kind of settling up there about, about that much. So now it's dissipated out. Man, that smells really good. I mean, there's a nice smell of tea, of Lipton tea. And a little bit of a peach. Wow, it's balanced really nicely, actually. Okay, let's go. It was balanced really nicely on the flavor, I mean on the aroma, and it's balanced very nicely on the flavor, on the taste as well. Nice sweet peach um, taste, a nice tea um, flavor on the whole thing. Um, the initial drink, the middle, and then aftertaste has a tea and a little peach with it as well. You get the alcohol just a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not overly sweet um, with the peach. It's perfect to me. Um, very nice, very nice taste. It's has a has a pretty decent refreshing characteristic to it. I don't hear them. I don't hear the mold detectors. Do you guys hear them? Hmm. I took them away so nobody has to listen to those things anymore they were they they they, they were annoying I agree if you listen real carefully you might be able to hear them just a little bit they're back behind my shed There's no, there's no carbonation to it. They kept it tea-like, so <clears throat> um, it doesn't. It, it, it isn't a watery beverage. Let me see. No, it has a little bit more body than what 
water or actual tea, what have. Um, it's good. It's really good. I like it. Lipton and the Lipton logo are registered tra trademarks used under license Sunrise Brewing Company, Rochester, New York. That's good. Ice would go good in this. Okay, well, there's not really any more to say about it. There is just a little bit of a um, <clears throat> tannic. Is that the word? Kind of a tannic tea bitterness. Just like it's not. It's not hardly. It's hardly, it's hardly that noticeable. Like, you know how you get like a little bit of a tea bitterness on, on actual tea if you don't sweeten it. Um, it's very, it's there very, very lightly. It's kind of, it's more kind of in the aftertaste area, but it's not, it's not anything that's going to bother anybody. Um, but yeah, it's good. I like it. Okay. Well, that's all there is for uh, for the review. Um, try it out. If you've already had it before, let me know what you thought of it. I have also the original, the one that's not. I don't know if it's lemon or if it's just regular tea. Hard, hard, twisted tea or something like that. Uh, um... But yeah, it's good. Okay, yeah, that's the end of this review. Um, so yesterday, our rider lawnmower has been down since last year. Um, somehow, while using it, it stopped the the blades stopped turning. Like you, you were no longer able to engage the the mechanism to mow <coughs> to get the, to get it going. You know the, the deck blades. Um, so we thought probably the the belt came off or something like that. So we had to park it back in the shed, and I've been push mowing ever since. So had a break in the weather. I wanted to get working on it a little bit over the weekend. Yesterday, um, Jeremy and I got the manual out <clears throat> and started figuring out how to get it all unhooked from the actual tractor. And uh, it went decently smooth. I'm, I was taking a lot of pictures so I could know exactly how to get it put back on and, and the afterwards. But uh, finally got it off there and um, Got the deck turned over and I cleaned out all the debris that's underneath there. There was a lot of debris buildup from grass and everything. Uh, the blades were, there's just two blades underneath there. Got both of those off and they were, they were so dull you couldn't cut butter with them. They were really bad. So I had to stretch my extension cord out to the shed and have a grinder out there and grind out the blades real good get the edge back on there and i took a file hand filed at it got them all nice and sharp again and um <clears throat> that was all i had time to do night was coming on so today jeremy and i got back out there and and uh, started getting it put back on I ran into a couple little, little uh, problems. 
Um, some of my pictures I took helped to know what to do. The belt still just feels loose, you know? It just doesn't feel like, I mean, I, I, I got, Jeremy turned it on, engaged the blades, and I'm, I'm laying on the ground watching, and when he engaged the blades, the, the belt is still kind of loose a little bit, but it's staying on the pulleys, but it's still kind of loose. But then I heard the blades, you know, when he put the blades on, you could hear him, you could hear him spinning underneath there. So <clears throat> it was the, the belt is running those pulleys, but it seems like it needs still more tension. So the belt might just be loose. Might have to get a new belt for it sometime soon. Um, but they're so loose that it wouldn't take much if it got a, if it ran over a stick or something, or a stick got got in between the pulley and the belt. It wouldn't take much to come off. So we're just gonna have to make sure that <clears throat> there's no sticks and stuff in the yard for right now. But. Uh, <clears throat> I don't have a trailer, so I can't pull my tractor up into a trailer and take it somewhere and have somebody, you know, take care of it for us. So, um, I just had to do it myself. But we got it figured out. But, uh, there is a, um, a rod... that's connected underneath toward the front of the tractor and it goes back and it hooks to the deck. So it takes some pins, well, pins on the, pins through the deck part. Um, there's like a net going through the hole of the tractor that's keep, that keeps it there. And there's an elbow that goes like this. If you have it one way, the elbow goes up like this. If you flip it over, the elbow, of course, is going down below. I had it pointing up. So when I went to pull it into our uh, our shed <clears throat> up on a ramp, it's uh, going at that angle. It pushed the, the elbow thing into one of my pulleys. And it sounded like it was like grinding metal. It sounded, I thought the blades were still going or something. It was kind of weird. So I had to put it in reverse and get it back down. But yeah, I had to, I had to, take, I had to take that thing off of there and, and switch the thing around so that the elbow was down, pointing down. So that was a little problem. But uh, other than that, I mean, we, we've had it ourselves for like, Five years. <clears throat> she got it from her brother-in-law. I mean, she got it from her brother. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't done any maintenance on it. I haven't changed the oil. Never sharpened the blades. Haven't changed the air filter. Um, only thing I've done, had to do is put a new battery in it. <clears throat> but. Uh, I checked the air filter, it was good, nice and clean looking. I do want to change the oil, never done that before, did I, did I mention that? Change the oil. But yeah, I let either my wife use the rider mower to do that part. Jeremy usually does the push mower in the areas that that we can't get the rider in and then I run the weed eater and we knock the yard out in no time but um, here lately I've been push mowing the entire yard it's a pretty good sized yard it's, it's two lots so there's a lot to mow um what else I'll be uploading this tomorrow, so it'll be Monday.
our neighbors like across the street. This guy, he brought out, he brought out a refrigerator, a stove, an office chair, two doors, I think that was it. He brought it out to the street, you know, where the trash cans would go. Um, that day, maybe it was that evening, someone took the refrigerator, the stove, and one door, and that left an office chair and a door still there. The door is now in the road. It's out in the road part. Not in the middle, but in the side. People, two cars could not smoothly pass each other where that door is. This person would have to wait for this person to get by so they could go around the door. In other words, the door is in the road. And this guy sees it. He knows it's there. He, he hasn't done anything about it. It's like, get the thing moved out of the way. And put it back up where it was. It, the wind is blowing it over, probably. Those kind of people really get on my nerves. It's not, it's not affecting me. I don't go that way. I go that way to the main street that's back the other way down into the neighborhood but <clears throat> if it was affecting me I would be very very irritated about it he can't keep his dogs in to save his life he's got four dogs he's got a white and brown pit a brown dog a black dog a chihuahua and he's got a pot belly pig and uh, the pig has gotten out before all of the dogs have gotten out before they're aggressive um, one day Jeremy went out to get the mail the pit run at him <clears throat> run at him and barked at him and I ran out to the fence and was yelling at the dog um, Jeremy was cool. He kept his cool. Probably more than what I would have. Um, but that was the first interaction we've had with those dogs. Now, the, there's a the brown one. One of the kids that live up the street, was he comes down this way sometimes. And um, that brown one, went out through that fence. They get out of the fence. They had the fence do gates up, but they're crappy and they, they can get through them really easy. And um, he got out and he was, he was barking at that little kid, scaring him really bad. But, um, the little kid was pretty brave. He was, he was yelling at the house, hello, hello, trying to get someone to come out. Like, hey, your dog just got out of the fence. You know, he's probably going to tell him. Nobody ever came out. So, I don't know. We always get irresponsible people living around us. The only responsible people that we have living around us is my neighbors back over here. He's got, they've got a lot of dogs but they keep them in now. They don't get out. He figured out a way to keep them in. Put up electric fence for one thing and uh, made, up, made his fence higher so they stay in. These people over here. Neglect their animals. I don't have respect for people like that. They had a black dog. He used to bark all the time I was out here. Some of you probably remember me out here doing 
doing reviews and the dog always barking. Um, it was back there. And they wouldn't mow the grass and the weeds around the dog. The dog lived in the squalor, is the right word. I mean, the chain would get would get hooked and, and hooked around things. She couldn't move very good. And um, I never, I hardly ever, I don't, I, the many years that they had the dog here, I don't remember s but once seeing him, seeing the man walk out there to tend to the dog. He had to have been given her water other times that I wasn't seeing. Otherwise she would have died a long time ago. But um, finally she did die. She was old, granted, but the other dog, the white one that was up here, um, she started losing her hair, looking really bad. Her name was Rose. She was a sweet dog. Um, she was pretty for a while, but she would get underneath the house over there. They claim that the dog was killed by a possum. Was it? I don't know. But I don't know. We haven't had decent neighbors in so long. Well, the other, the other, the other house we lived in, we had a, a good neighbor. We had her for years. She still lives in the same house. It's just on the next street over. That's where we used to live. And, uh, but she was the only neighbor we had across the street from her, not from, from where we lived. There was an old lady lived over there, Mrs. Myers. She was real sweet. She never had animals, but she passed away many years ago. Twenty-two minutes, thirty-one seconds. I hope. I hope you enjoyed the chat. I know I'm just more ranting. But, whew, man, I'm just glad that we got that mower going. I can mow this yard by myself with the push mower, but after I'm done, and if I weed eat too, I am totally zapped wiped out all right thanks for watching i appreciate it here's what we reviewed today it's good stuff i'm almost done with it we will see you all on the next one have a good well you won't be watching this till monday have a good monday evening and i hope y'all had a good weekend and we will see you on the next one.